What is up YouTube? So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own anime explosion. And it's going to be a super basic explosion, but we are going to be using some 3D math to make it look nice. So before we begin, do hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss an upload. Now let's get started. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to try to teach you this in a different way. So as you can see, I have the finished script here. And what scripters on Roblox usually do is when they're teaching a tutorial, when they're trying to teach you something, they start with a blank script and they try to try to kind of like code their way through. I've noticed that like as a viewer, you have to go through all the times where the bugs happen, all the times where there's lag, and that just isn't pleasant. So I'm going to take it backwards. I have the entire thing already coded and I'm going to teach you how every single line works step by step. Okay, so first, let's see how the entire effect looks like. So I have it set up where if you press E, the explosion will happen. And it looks like that. It's a pretty basic explosion, but it still looks cool. So now let's look at the script. So as you can see, I've got everything defined over here. So local P equals game.players.local player. What that means is basically P, whenever I say P, let that equal to me. Local player is just like the character that loads up every single time you play the game. So P is the player. HRP is the humanoid root part. So how do I know what the humanoid root part is? How do I know where all this comes from? So basically if you click play and you look at workspace, this right here, this is me. And then everything inside of here is inside of my character. So humanoid root part is basically player.character, which is this that humanoid root part and we kind of just set that to the variable hrp so mouse is equal to player get mouse and that's basically your mouse and then storage is equal to game replicated storage so i basically have an event here where whenever someone presses a key or whenever the player whenever the player presses a key if the key is equal to e so if i press e then it does everything that's inside of here so how does the explosion actually work step by step so local ball equals storage.ball clone. So storage we said was game.replicated storage. And as you can see, ball's right here. So storage.ball is the same thing as this ball right here. And this ball is basically just a red sphere that glows. So that's the ball. And when you do ball.parent equals workspace, you're basically doing this. So storage.ball clone, that means do this, duplicate it. And then ball.parent equals workspace. That means take this ball, put it in here. Ball.cframe equals hrp.cframe, which means position the ball where the humanoid root part cframe is. So if this if this spawn location was me, then it would take this ball and it would put it right there. That's what that line does. And then ball.transparency equals one. That basically means make it invisible. And then you basically do the same thing with the ring. And then this math right here, basically alpha is a number from one to zero. So when you're doing ball.transparency equals alpha, that means, so alpha, is a, so alpha is a number from one through zero. So it's basically just gonna go smoothly from one all the way to zero, just like that. And then ball.size equals size, size, size. Well, size is just this number right here, 20 times a and a is the number from 0 through 1 so what we're doing is basically we're scaling it up and while we're scaling it up we're making it go from invisible to visible like that and then the same thing is happening with the ring so then we have the second part right here and this is basically the same exact thing as this except now instead of setting the transparency to alpha which is a number from 1 to 0 so instead of going like this and slowly appearing, what we do is set it to A. And A is a number from 0 through 1. So instead of going from invisible to visible, we're going from visible to invisible. And we're kind of just doing the same thing with the ring here. So you see ball.transparency equals A, and for the ring it's the same thing. So that's basically what we're doing. We're going from visible to invisible. And then right here, ball.size equals size, size, size. This basically is the same thing as what we did here, except now we're kind of making the size a little bit bigger. So 
Let's do this. I'm going to comment all of this to show you what this part looks like. So like I said before, E, and you see how it grew and then the transparency went from invisible to visible. Let's try it again. See, kind of just invisible to visible and grows. That's all it is. And then the second part, once you add that in, it grows, but then it continues growing, but at a slower rate, and it goes from visible to invisible. See? Grows, visible to invisible. And that's literally the basics of an explosion. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. If you like how I take a script and I tell you how it works step by step, let me know too. I hope you have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Bye.